Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Learnings. In this series to improve upon the basics of Java, means the basic concepts that we people must be aware of like we covered main method in our last session. So today we are going to do something similar and it is about this statement system.out.println. All right, so we'll, what we are going to see today is uh, first understand what is system what is out and what is println i know many of you might already be aware of this but many of you might not be aware of it okay so we'll try to uh, cover up this thing number one second it by default prints to the console right so can we do something like uh, uh, we write this statement system dot out dot println and it uh, prints to some file let's say instead of printing to console so we'll try that as well and third and important thing which we will see today or which we'll try to understand is how behind the scenes this statement works means how uh, system dot out dot println prints the output to the console or to the output stream that you specify okay so First and foremost, very simple. I'm using the same sample project that we used in our Hello Gradle application. And uh, basically, just I'm running, I'm running the application as a Java so that we know by default it prints to the console. Okay. Now, uh, coming to the behind the scenes part. Now, system here is a class. First, let me tell you system here is a class and it is in java dot lang sub package okay now what about out so out is a variable basically which is defined in system class and it is of type print stream print stream is another class in io package java dot io and println is basically another method of print stream class okay so these three things are i hope is clear system is a class out is a variable which is defined in system class and println is a method of print stream class so let me show the source code of system class so system is a final class we cannot create the object of this class it is initialized by jvm and uh, Let's see first where is uh, out defined here. So here is this public final static print stream out. So this is the out variable which is being referred out here. Okay. So now how is system class initialized, right? Since it's a final class, so we cannot instantiate this class. So it is instantiated actually by JVM. So JVM invokes a method which is called initialize system class the method name is also uh, hence, uh, implicitly telling us that it is responsible for initialization of the system class so it's a static method inside this class and uh, JVM invokes this method so certain properties are initialized here then uh, certain code is there now what we are looking at is initialization of the out right out variable which is of type print stream so first thing here is we are creating the object of file output stream there is a lot of java.io classes used out here okay so first thing is file output stream object is created okay now it uses another class which is file descriptor dot out which is again a final constant you can say defined here in uh, file descriptor class so file descriptor class basically its purpose is to it helps in initialization of uh, this uh, file output stream or input stream all right so it's a handle basically a handle to the standard output stream and it is not used directly but it is used by the output stream that we can also see out here so we this method is invoked let's get inside this as well so one object of file descriptor uh, is getting created and this value one is being set here and uh, 
yeah inside the handle variable and uh, the descriptor object is getting returned okay so coming back here so file descriptor object is getting created number one number two file input stream object is getting created okay now number three we are creating the object of print stream class right since this variable out uh, inside and this class is of type print stream right we can see here so uh, print stream class object we need right so coming back here so file descriptor object is created file output stream object is created now print stream object is created now uh, and coding property if it is set this is passed to a method new print stream which creates this object of print stream class and another object which is buffered output stream so let me open a notepad and uh, let's try to write it here what's happening so file descriptor okay then file output stream object is getting created a lot of things are happening file output stream object is created and then we are creating the object of print stream and to create that we are using buffer output stream and uh, then print stream okay and then your print stream object is getting created so this is how basically you can see the initialization and the creation of print stream object is happening now how is initialization to the out variable happening so there is a method which is set out and it is a native method so a native method is then invoked which basically binds this stream to the out variable okay so after that you can say a native method set out yeah, I can write set out zero is invoked all right so you and all this is happening inside first you can write here that initialize system class this method is getting invoked then inside that file descriptor object then file output stream then buffered output stream and then print stream so this object and uh, this reference is then passed to the native method which is set out zero okay so this is how this out variable is initialized now for coming to the println so println is a method of print stream class let's try to explore this as well how this is working so if it is a string see uh, the println method is overloaded so it has an uh, object if we, it has accepts an object it accepts a string it accepts a character type array and double all primitive data types also so you can see here that it is basically obtaining the lock on the object you can see any of the implementations here so it is taking the lock on the object and then it is invoking another method which is print so print is also a method of print stream class okay so what is print doing now print let me just write here so print ln all right so it is using the print method now print method is uh, basically using the string class value of method converting everything to string class object and then invoking the write method which is again of print stream class so now again lock is obtained on the variable this on the current object and uh, ensure open let's see this as well so it makes sure that the stream is not closed all right now if, uh, we are using text out dot write whatever we are passing as uh, to write to the buffer so what is text out text out is a variable of type buffered writer all right so it is using buffered writer class object to write to the buffer 
okay let's see any of the implementations mm, and then we are flushing out the buffers and here we are also using the output stream a writer to flush the buffer so buffer writer is used to write to the buffer uh, as well as flushing it so i just write it for flush purpose we are also using output stream a writer out here uh, now why twice uh, buffer is flushed that part i'm not also sure about flush buffer method is invoked two times in fact here again if auto flush is true then we are again flushing so i believe that everything is written to the stream this may be the probable reason but exactly i'm also not sure of so a write method we are again obtaining the log right and uh, when we are invoking a write method from any of our so yeah so println method inside the println method also we were obtaining the log i can show you again so here also we are invoking the log we are getting the log and then invoking the print invoking the print method and uh, there also it is we are using synchronized block okay so right and it is using right method cool so another thing which it is using because if you see every output is printed to the next line so that is why new line method is there so we can see that as well so new line method is invoked and it is basically invoking the new line method of again our buffered writer class right we know that every output is printed to the next line cool so there are two things which is happening one is a write method which is invoking buffer writer and then uh, entering into the buffer and then flushing it and uh, after that we have uh, what so we have new line method cool so this is how println is working and uh, these calls are getting invoked println then it uses a synchronized block on your current object and uh, then invokes the print method and then write and then buffer writer is the class which is actually writing to the buffer and then the buffer is flushed and after that new line method is invoked so this is how println is working behind the scenes and uh, we also saw how our out variable of print stream class gets initialized so basically it's done via a native method which is set out zero cool so and overall the method which is responsible for initialization of system class is initialize system class all right so this that's it now last thing we can try here is that uh, there is a method here which is uh, set out system class has a method set out we can pass here a print stream a reference and it can also invoke the native method set out zero so we can try this basically to redirect you can say to redirect the output of system dot outdoor print to some other output stream maybe a file so what we now need is the object of let's say a file output stream i just create file output stream let's say file is equals to new file output stream and uh, let's create in our tl projects directory and uh, let's say a file test dot txt and uh, okay let's add a throws declaration now for what we want is a print stream class object right so print stream let's say print stream is equals to new print stream and we can pass here this reference file and uh, now what else we can do is uh, we can invoke the method 
system dot set out and we can pass on this print string reference so now anything which we type or which you try to print via system dot out dot print so it will be written to this file test dot txt so it should not appear here at the console right because we have uh, now deliberately we have also seen that uh, this set out method is in invoking this native method only right so let's try let me clear the console let me run again oops it says it is not able to find the class system cannot find okay i missed out because there is no directory tl project it's tl projects no issues okay so let's see so we have tl projects directory test.txt and here is our output cool so this is how we can redirect deliberately redirect the output of system not output in to some file as well okay so that's it for today i hope i hope that uh, you learned something new or probably something which you were initially not aware of okay so if you liked it if you like like i said if you learned something new please do share uh, this among your friends okay so thanks for watching the video do a like subscribe share to the channel subscribe to the channel share the video <laughs> see you next time bye good night